What's up guys and gals, and welcome back to the Nerdcast. So today we're going to be checking out a game called Die Young. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here. We covered this years ago, actually, when its early access first started. The game is approaching its final release. It's not quite there yet, it's like in point eight or so, but I'm sure a lot of things have changed. It's an exploration fighting, honestly, it's got a lot in common with, like, it's got a little bit of Far Cry, a little bit of Dying Light. Like, the game's got a lot of random stuff going on with it. It's a pretty ambitious project for an indie developer. So anyways, we're gonna check it out here today. Hopefully you have a good time. Thank you for settling on under your seats and hanging out with me. Let's do this thing. I was born into the high life. I always like to exceed. Always love strong sensations. I experimented with everything. I was never an addict, just more of an adrenaline junkie. My crowd was always the people living on the edge. Still, nothing could have prepared me for what happened on that island. It was supposed to be the joyride of the summer. Rashid said it was all a done deal. He said we'd rule the beach after. We had no idea what we're headed into. Nightmares have a way of just happening. Everything was a blur, but I was sure of it. I'd been buried alive. I... I feel dizzy. Where am I? My throat... hurts. Water. I need water. Hey! Hey! Help me! What the fuck? What's that? What did we learn about following people with man buns to uncharted islands? What did we learn? Let's repeat it together. What did we learn? I'm not saying you can't follow dudes with man buns. I'm just saying if they're headed to an island, you should not be. What is that right there? Like a coin? Oh, it's a compass. Gotcha. So we have a compass so that we can navigate. That's north right there. Uh, we also have a map. We've actually got an inventory now, which wasn't in the game the last time I played, which is pretty sweet. Uh, what else we got going on? On our map right now, it looks like we got a couple of roads in the area. It looks like we might be able to hard scrabble our way up here. So I'm just going to do it. Let's go for this. Can I jump to there? What about there? Hey, I can jump to right there. Nice. Okay, so we'll go over to here. It was nice of somebody to paint these white. I appreciate that. That's very, very helpful. That's a pretty solid vertical leap right there. I'm sort of impressed by the acumen with which we're climbing out of this well. If you told me to... If you told me... Andre! Where the fuck are they? If you told me to vertically launch myself with just my arm strength, like six feet up in the air to grab another handhold, I'd be like, well, I guess I'm going to die in the well. I guess I'm just not going to make it. Uh, there's sticks over here. All right, we got like a whooping stick right there. Don't know how helpful that's going to be. Looks like we can save our game right here. We might as well do that. That sounds like a really, really good plan. I don't know how long this stick is going to hold out as a weapon. What are these, like, feathers? Oh, okay. So there's feathers over there. I thought maybe they were, like, shavings or something. Like, wood shavings or something of that type. We've got some lumpy-looking birds flying around. You hold left shift and left out while running to look back. Am I going to need to look back? Oh, apparently we can perceive things, too. Can I pick these flowers? No. Can't do anything with those flowers. All right. Well, I mean, there's like a village over there, so maybe we should go check that out. I can also crouch and sneak with the control button. Okay, that definitely has to have a use right there. There's no way that this does not have a use. So we got Mom's Favorite. All right, kind of a generic name for a plant, but I'll take it. Mom's Favorite. If I give it to my mom, do you think she'll be happy? That looks like lavender or something. We'll grab that violet flower. All right. What's over here? Ooh, are those like raspberries? Yeah, do that. That sounds like a really good plan. Anything that we can graze off of the land is going to be something that I personally really want to prioritize. Uh, Dehydration is going to set in pretty quickly. It looks like we're in maybe like a Mediterranean climate. 
All right. So we've got, I assume, healing powder. Yes. Did I make healing powder? I did. I made healing powder. Is that inside my inventory right now? Can I, like, hotkey that or anything? Like, what if I wanted to? We can assign it with right click. Uh, yeah, we'll just put it right there. That's cool. That sounds all right to me. How do I access my quick slots? Well, I can throw a rock at things. That's pretty sweet, just in case you're feeling like uh, unloading that way. Is that like a grave right there? No, that's just a stone holder. All right. Well, we got some more berries over here. I'm going to try and keep myself hydrated while we go about this quest. I would also like to make more healing powder. That sounds like a really good plan. Let's make a little bit more. Perfect. All right. So we got two healing powders. Restores a small amount of health. It's going to have to do. I don't know if I need the healing powder. It looks like this building over here. Let's go check that out and see what's inside of the building. I don't know what that small critter is right there. It looks like some kind of gopher. Hey, I hit him. He took a little bit of damage. So we found the twin houses. Can I just run his ass down? Oh, it's a bunny. A very, very slow bunny. And now it's a very, very dead bunny. All right, so we got some raw meat. That's pretty sweet. I figure I'll probably hold on to that just in case I need to eat or anything else. Eh, we got some berries over here. Yeah, I'm going to get down on these real quick. Let me get down on those. With my stick, we'll keep that locked in. I don't like wind chimes, man. It's not that they creep me out. It's that they're annoying. I can't stand wind chimes. Like, wind chimes are like one of those things that I just I don't understand why people like wind chimes like i'm also like a little bit obsessed with noise though like i've got like this weird thing where like any kind of like repetitive noise just drives me nuts Did those rats just try to kill me so we've got a dead rat how useful do you figure a dead rat's gonna be what is that right there cannot carry any more items what would i use that for this is the second most disgusting thing i've ever touched in my life what was the first most disgusting? I have a valid question for you. What was the first most disgusting thing you've ever touched? What is that, like spaghetti? Yeah, canned food. Okay. Um, There was a bit of cloth right there, and there's a letter over here. August 5th. Last night while I was sleeping with the others in our lodge, I was awakened by a metallic noise like a click. I walked up to the door and I heard it again. In that moment, I realized what it was. I understood the reason why we had packed the statues, why we had been chosen as workers, and why we were lodging separated from the village under the coastal tower. The socialist ideal has been betrayed. The community is living a lie. I opened the door and found myself in front of a soldier. I hit him, taking him off guard. Then I instinctively grabbed the keys and threw myself out the window. I started running towards the coastal tower while behind me I heard the whistle of bullets and the woeful cries of my companions. What have I dedicated my life to so far? I'm confused. I have too many thoughts swimming in my head, and it's almost midday. The prosecutors are about to arrive on the beach with their rafts. I have to find a better hiding place. Then I'll have all the time to clarify things. Okay. And then with the hand-drawn map over here, there's some red marks on the map. I wonder if it can help me escape. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Did it add those to my map? It did not. It said there was a water pump over here, though. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Is it not working? Maybe I have to have, like, a water bottle or something in order for it to function. Did I check everything that was in here? I can't jump and reach that. Doesn't look like there's any handholds around that I can get a hold of. Let's swing back on over this way. Maybe I can jump from roof to roof, possibly. Yeah, that's the feeling that I'm getting. Unless you can climb this ivy right here. Whoa. I don't know what just happened right there, but hey, I'm not going to question it. It's outside my purview. All right, so there's little bunnies around. Got some more scrap metal. What can I make with this scrap metal that I have on me? Is there anything decent I can make? I can make a crafted knife, but I need some kind of binding in order to do that. We also have a water bottle over there. Looks like my inventory is pretty shallow. I can't carry a whole lot of stuff. I hate canned food. Recover some health and hydration. Well, you might as well go for it, because i got to pick up this stuff over here anyways. We'll grab the water bottle. 
Doesn't look like that stacks. Is that the binding right there? That is the binding. Okay. Inventory's full, so I gotta dish something first. I mean, if we're getting a knife, I probably don't need the stick, right? What is that, a simple bandage? Heals bleeding and reduces venom effects. Okay. Alright, well, let's make a knife. Cool. Maybe we'll assign the knife. Let's see, a makeshift blade and it's not reliable. My dad taught me how to make one. I never thought it would actually be useful one day. Uh, yeah, put it right there. Okay. So I've got like a little stabby blade that I can use right now. It's not a very vigorous swing. I'm a little bit I'm a little bit concerned about the vigor that's being loaded behind that swing, but you know. Does more damage than a stick. That's for sure. Way more damage. Some broken pottery shards. Also got another scrap metal. Can I break that out of the way, I wonder? Doesn't look like it. So the question becomes, how do I get from here into there? Definitely can't go through there. Maybe there's a climbing spot outside? Let's go look. Let's see if there's a spot where we can climb up from out here. There is. I knew I was missing something. Man, that canned soup took care of us. We're looking kind of good right now. Oh, it's not a climbing spot? But I was so certain that it was a climbing spot. Maybe I get like a double jump or like a scramble later on. Maybe that's what it is. So follow the red marks. Find a water source. Find the coastal tower. Go down the tower. Follow the short path. Cross the gate and reach the high tower. Alright. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if I unlock other skills later on or something and get, like, better at, like, jumping or something. Because that looks like maybe you would be able to, like, double jump up there or you get, like, a wall scramble. Uh, dying light style where you can kind of just, like, scrabble your way up the wall. Because the default jump ain't getting up here right now. Definitely not. So, we'll have to come back for this, maybe? If nothing else, I have that bottle, right? Let's fill it with water. Maybe I have to use the bottle on it? An empty bottle. Looks possible that this may actually not be working. This pump might be busted. I don't know if it needs like a new primer or what it needs to do. I know you gotta put a little bit of water inside these old like manual pumps before they'll work properly, but I'm not specifically educated about the construction of the whole thing. Well, we got nothing but open field in front of us. What is that, like a goat? Okay. We'll leave the goat alone. We've got some kind of old, like, Greek-style monument over there. Another goat. Apparently, somebody let all their chivos out. Please, don't hurt me! Who's this dude? Hey, who are you? Oh! oh. Uh, okay. Uh, apparently we've got some kind of psychotic redneck out here. Whoa, she headbutted me. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, you need to, like, calm down, yo. You need to calm down. Man, that kick move, though. Oh, I have no, I have no durability left. Yeah, that's kind of not good. Ow! So I'm gonna say that our takeaway from this situation is that we should not we should not fight the crazies down there. Not until we've got a better weapon, anyways, because our knife broke with a quickness. We shoved that fool like 15 times and still didn't even like touch it. So maybe 
Just maybe we take it slow from here on in. Just take it a little slower. Just take it a little slower. Maybe you don't dive so readily into combative situations. It looks like there's a tower over there. I figure I'll just follow the road. And we'll kind of just figure out where we want to be at right now. I don't need any health or anything else. Hopefully we can keep ourselves out of trouble here. I vaguely remember that over by the ruins there was something super gnarly. When I played the game in the first alpha, there was like a big old dude with a bag on his head or something like that over there. Who had like a giant wheat scythe or something. Running around in the field. I don't see him from here. But I definitely recall that being the case. And so I'm going to kind of like keep my head down for right now. You don't see a big giant guy with a wheat scythe over there, do you? Good, because neither do I. Hold up, was that a Rottweiler right there? Yeah... So maybe not pick a fight with a Rottweiler. Noticing how badly I got my ass whooped when we went up against one crazy lady, even though we had a knife and she had nothing. I don't know, man. I don't know. I kind of feel like combat may not be our forte. It might... Oh, there he is right there. You can see him. He's in the field. I told you he was there. I told you he was there. Mm-hmm. Nobody wants to listen to Splatty. Can I open this right here? This is like a, what, a well cover? Like a well stone on the top of it? I bet you my friends are inside these and you gotta figure out ways to get those off of there. I bet you. I'll bet you. Is that a snake? Ugh, why does he sound so slimy? Alright, well, let's not play with snakes. How about that? He's not going to come after me, is he? I am vaguely concerned about the fact that I might get snaked on. And I'm not trying to get snaked out right now. So do I, like, level up from killing any of this stuff, or is there any point? Hmm. I mean, there's a tower up there. If we could get to that, is that a blood trail on the ground? Explore the temple ruins. I don't think that I want to, man. Like, you're pretending like I don't see this giant dude over here running around in the field. Like, I, I definitely see him, and I don't know if this is such a great idea. Seems like the kind of thing that's going to get my ass into trouble. Oh, it's a guard dog. Okay, so there's like another Rottweiler over there. I think there's multiples of them. They don't appear to be intensely interested in the ghosts, but maybe that's why they're here. Maybe they're like, Goat Guard. A new product by Pfizer. Goat Guard. So he's got like a big battle axe. I don't know how I feel about this one. Look, I'm willing to bet though we can't fight him with like a stick of birch. Like, that's probably a piss-poor idea to try to fight him with just, like, a stick. So maybe we'll come back and try to take this dude out once we've got something a little bit better under our belt. Oh, there's a note over here. The dude that's running around with the battle axe is on the other side of the compound right now, so we might as well take that. Let's see. Three metopes, two tippinum sculptures. Recovery operations from the temple site and the flower field proceed expediently. Workers' morale is high for now. They're working hard and don't ask questions. All things being equal, the task will be completed on schedule. Brother 2. Okay. Well. Dude, am I just running around barefoot right now? Holy bejesus, man. This would suck. Just running around an open field with, like, shards of rock and everything, like, biting on into your little heelys. Like, nah, man. That seems a little overtly painful. I'm not down with that kind of stuff. So, I don't know if everybody here is crazy. If everybody here has some kind of virus. I don't know what their major dysfunction is. But as of right now, what is that over there? There's a tree. It's got a whole bunch of orange stuff hanging. Well, that looks like red. Is it blood? Oh, shit. There's a snake. There was a snake in that bush. There's a snake in my bush. It's never a good thing when there's a snake in your bush. So, this is a super dead guy. Yeesh. It doesn't look like they brought him out here for a tan. He's pretty. 
goes to black and blue. We've got to let's see. Yesterday evening at twilight, an unusual thing happened while I was preparing a decoction in the greenhouse. I heard Sonia calling me from outside the farm. I was surprised. Nobody from the community is allowed to venture into what they call the area of deprivation or something like that. When I joined her, I realized she was not alone. A boy was with her. He was wearing community clothing, but I could tell immediately that he was the stranger she was talking about the other day. They had come to ask for a place where they could disappear for a few days. I accepted hosting them on my farm without asking anything further. I don't know if I did well to help them, but how could I have refused? After all, two more people in this house will surely make it a little bit more cheerful. If you say so. It doesn't look like there's a cheery resolution for anybody out here, in my opinion. I'm gonna light that up real quick so that, like, I'm all saved up. Let's have a look. Apparently, I picked up a belt pouch. Let's see. Collect more utility belts. That will increase your raw material storage capacity. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can hold five mom's favorite now. That didn't help with, like, my, my main inventory, though, which is what I'm much more worried about. But I know that I probably don't want to go over there. Because big ass battle axe guy is just kind of running around acting all crazy. And I'm not confident in my stealth skills. Meanwhile, there's snakes over there. I don't know how excited you were about the prospects of, like, vipers. But I don't mess with snakes, man. I don't play around with snakes. I've been around enough, like, sidewinders and, you know, copperheads and everything else in my life to, like, if I never saw another one again, cool. Like, they can be a valued part of the ecosystem elsewhere. I ain't friends with them. Uh, my name is Splattercat. This is Die Young. How the time flies when you're having fun, don't it? How the time flies. I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. We may follow up with another episode on this one just so we can get a little bit further in and figure out what all of the gameplay is about. If that sounds amicable to you, you're excited about that, leave me a comment down below and I'll do my best to take that into account. Hi, do, and take care, everybody.